आज हम डिस्कस करेंगे टर्बो एक्सपेंडर फंडामेंटल्स आज का टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन है टर्बो एक्सपेंडर फंडामेंटल्स देन टर्बो एक्सपेंडर इनलेट व्हील टिप वेलोसिटी वर्सेस स्पॉटिंग वेलोसिटी व्हिच इज कॉल्ड u2 by c0 what is importance of u2 by c0 turbo expander velocity triangle then turbo expander enthalpy drop efficiency and power turbo expander fundamentals turbo expander is a radial process turbine and which is also called turbo expander or expander just like compressor is called turbo compressor it is a machine designed to produce refrigeration and power recovery it is a radial flow turbine and it has radial inlet and axial outlet it is a 50% impulse and 50% ejection turbine so high pressure gas enters through inlet guide vein igv where 50% enthalpy drop which is may be considered 50% pressure drop occurs and high velocity gas which is exiting from igb impinges on the expander wheel the remaining 50% enthalpy drop occurs within the wheel so this is a most efficient process the entire process of expansion is considered as a isentropic process the inlet guide vein is designed in a such a way that the outlet cross section area is less than inlet cross section area so velocity increases at outlet then because of this pressure drop occurs in nozzle similar principle is applied for expander wheel where it is designed in such a way that cross section area at wheel outlet is smaller than wheel inlet so relative velocity increases at wheel outlet and because of this pressure drop occurs at the wheel so during the expansion of gas there is a drop in pressure and temperature and enthalpy and due to this expand expander generates power the flow is controlled by inlet guide vane which is installed at a piston to expander wheel to aap dekh sakte hain ye machine hai this is expander housing sorry this is expander housing this is compressor housing and in between there is a rotating assembly or which connects a rotor rotor which is called is a rotating assembly so separate portion you see this is a expander housing ye rotating assembly and this is compressor housing this is expander wheel and this is inlet guide vanes jule thomson valve which is also called jt valve which is installed in parallel to expander for the operation anti surge control valve which is called asv is also installed in the parallel to compressor for surge control purpose pre boost arrangement the compressor there are two arrangement which is called pre boost arrangement and post boost arrangement so in pre boost arrangement gas comes first in compressor where it has pressurized and then comes to expander inlet gas coming from the expander outlet goes to the process and the compressor inlet process is normally higher than expander outlet pressure and so this is called pre boost arrangement post boost arrangement gas comes first in expander inlet where expansion occurs normally heavier gas is removed after ex expander outlet gas from expander outlet goes to the process where gas becomes warm and then comes to compressor inlet and then pressurization occurs in compressor and then it goes to pressure process so compressor inlet pressure is slightly less than expander outlet pressure due to pressure drop in piping so is ek expander in parallel mein ek jt valve install hai and compressor ke parallel mein ek anti surge valve hai anti surge valve takes care of the surge control and jt is used for the op operation of the expander so initially machine started on uh, sorry in the plant is started on jt mold and then once expander is started slowly load is transfer from jt valve to expander 
Expander is normally used in following application natural gas processing, dew point control, LNG production, methane purification, ethylene plant, coal box refrigeration, hydrogen purification, natural gas, pressure letdown, power recovery, ammonia purification, geothermal energy, binary cycle power recovery, carbon monoxide purification, gas to liquid uh, processing, propane dehydration, propane dehydrogenation and air separation as expander cannot run alone stand alone so load is required for power recovery and satisfactory operation of the machine so normally there are three types of load is which is connected to turbo expander so one arrangement we call is which is popular we use is turbo expander and compressor arrangement another is a turbo expander generator arrangement and turbo expander brake arrangement so load is compressor this is generator and the hydro brake so first case turbo expander compressor arrangement so gas in this arrangement compressor as a load is connected to expander by single shaft power produced by expander is consumed by the compressor in pressurizing the process gas flow chart shown on high pressure gas enters in expander where enthalpy drops and power is produced low pressure gas enters to compressor where pressurization occurs in compressor and high pressure gas comes out from the compressor so this is called turbo expander compressor arrangement now next is a turbo expander generator arrangement in this arrangement generator as a load is connected to expander by single shaft or through a speed reducing gear box power produced by expander is converted to electrical energy by generator flow chart shown as high pressure gas enters in expander where enthalpy drops and power is produced this is the last arrangement that is turbo expander hydro brake in this arrangement hydro brake as a load is connected to expander by single shaft power produced by the expander is absorbed by hydro brake flow chart shown as a high pressure gas enters in expander where enthalpy drops and power is produced and this is used for a small power generation application where electrical generator is not viable solution now let us what is the speed ratio u2 by c0 and let us derive it so let's say hs is a total isentropic stage enthalpy drop and u2 is expander will inlet to velocity which is in meter per second and hs is joule per kg what is the spouting velocity c0 it is a velocity of the gas assuming that the entire isentropic stage of enthalpy is converted into the velocity so by using Bernoulli equation you can write c0 square upon 2 is equal to hs and so c0 is equal to 2 oh, it is a mistake it should be a square root a square root of 2 into hs sorry c0 square is missing here so c0 square is equal to 2 into hs now as expand the turbo expander is 50 percent impulse and 50 percent reaction turbine so 50 percent enthalpy drop occurs at inlet guide vane so bernoulli equation for the igb c2 square upon 2 is equal to 0 0.5 into hs so c2 which is gas exiting from igb can be written c2 is c2 is equal to a square root of 0 0.5 into hs so here a square root is missing but again expander wheel inlet velocity should be approximately equal to igb outlet velocity to have radial flow and gas can board on the wheel, wheel without any jerk without any jerk so u2 is equal to c2 so u2 is equal to square root of 0 0.5 into hs this is equation 2 so using equation 1 and 2 we can write u2 by c0 is equal to a square root of 0 0.5 which is 0 0.7 so u2 by c0 is 0 0.7 so efficiency of expander is a maximum when u2 by c0 is equal to 0 0.7 you can see Yes, if this is efficiency efficiency correction factor so as u2 by c start increasing efficiency is increasing it becomes maximum at 0 
and after that it starts decreasing now let us understand little bit about the turbo expander wheel expander wheel is a radial inlet and axial outlet you see this is a radial inlet and axial outlet sometimes inlet angle can be backward leaning vanes at wheel outlet is backward leaning so backward leaning means angle of blade is turning opposite to the direction of the rotation of the wheel now inlet velocity triangle radial inlet when the inlet guide vane is installed at in, sorry for 50% impulse and 50% reaction turbine u2 is approximately equal to zero uh, u2 is approximately equal to c2 so in this case u2 is inlet velocity v2 is inlet relative velocity c2 is inlet absolute velocity ca2 is inlet axial velocity cw2 is inlet whirl velocity in this case v2 is equal to ca2 beta 2 is angle wheel inlet blade angle which is 0 degree with respect to radial so this angle is 0 and theta 2 this is beta 2 beta 2 is a wheel inlet blade angle 0 and theta 2 is absolute velocity angle which is equal to inlet guide vane angle this is theta 2 now inlet velocity triangle backward leaning inlet sometimes inlet uh, angle is backward sorry forward uh, leaning this angle i mean backward leaning angle is moving like this so u2 is equal to it should be backward leaning u2 is inlet uh, tip velocity v2 is inlet relative velocity c2 is a uh, inlet absolute velocity and uh, ca2 is inlet axial velocity cw2 is inlet whirl velocity so theta beta 2 inlet will inlet blade angle with respect to radial so this is beta 2 and theta 2 is absolute velocity angle which is inlet guide vane angle so you can see this is the theta 2 now outlet velocity triangle axial outlet see this is axial outlet so outlet well at outlet flow through expander wheel is axial so w3 sorry is u3 is equal to outlet mean tip velocity please note that all the velocity triangle on outlet is done at the mean or average of the blade height at outlet so u3 is equal to outlet mean tip velocity v3 is equal to outlet mean relative velocity c3 is equal to outlet mean absolute velocity ca3 is equal to outlet mean axial velocity cw3 is outlet mean whirl velocity and beta 3 is equal to outlet wheel outlet blade angle with respect to axial so this is the beta 3 this angle it is designed in such a way that the CW3 should be minimum to have axial flow. Expander Euler head drop or actual head drop. With the help of velocity triangle, Euler head drop is calculated and which is equal to Euler head or actual head is equal to U2 into CW2 minus U3 into CW3 where u2 is inlet tip velocity u3 is equal to outlet mean tip velocity u w2 sorry it is by mistake it should be cw2 not u inlet uh, whirl velocity and this is again mistake this is should be cw3 outlet mean whirl velocity so Again, there is a relationship between isentropic efficiency is equal to Euler head or actual head upon the isentropic enthalpy. Sorry, by mistake. Isentropic efficiency is equal to Euler head drop or actual head, not actual enthalpy drop, not head, actual enthalpy drop is equal to isentropic enthalpy drop. 
Now turbo expander enthalpy drop. Isentropic and actual enthalpy drop in process turbine or turbo expander is expressed as isentropic enthalpy drop HS is equal to a small h1 minus a small h2s. S stands for stagnation. Actual enthalpy drop H is equal to H1 minus H2, where HS is isentropic enthalpy drop, H is actual enthalpy drop, a small H1 is inlet static enthalpy, and H2 is a outlet static enthalpy. This we can see that isentropic enthalpy drop is larger than actual enthalpy drop. No turbo expander isentropic efficiency, isentropic enthalpy drop. HS is equal to H1 minus H2S. Actual enthalpy drop H is equal to a small H1 minus H2. So isentropic efficiency is equal to actual enthalpy drop upon isentropic enthalpy drops, where ES is equal to HA upon HS. So HS and HA is isentropic and actual enthalpy drop, a small H1. H2 are in inlet and outlet enthalpy drop and H2S is a isentropic outlet enthalpy. So H1 small H2 is a enthalpy at inlet and outlet, H2S is a isentropic outlet enthalpy. Turbo expander power. Expander power is mass flow rate into isentropic uh, enthalpy drop, not head, isenthalpy drop into Isentropic efficiency, expander outlet power is equal to expander power minus bearing losses. So compressor power consumed is equal to expander power output, and compressor power is equal to. So we can write expander power minus bearing loss. So expander power is equal to compressor power plus bearing losses. So this this expander power, so compressor power plus add bearing loss becomes expander power. So thank you.